So guys, what is good? Um, I just picked up some new camera gear. One, I got a little ND filter for my camera, which basically it's like sunglasses. They describe it as sunglasses for your lens, which basically I'm gonna be out in the sun today and I'm gonna use the ND filter to like keep my exposure good, but also keep my f-stop high, which gives me a blurry background, which just makes it look cooler in my opinion. And then I got a mic as well. A lot of you guys know sometimes I just use the little, I just use the on-camera mic, which I like because it's just, I can go on the run and vlog, but sometimes I really just want a little bit crisper audio. So I picked up a little Rode Video Micro. It's a simple mic. I actually had it before, but the one I had, I lost the wire for. So I got another one and I'm really excited to get filming. Now I'm about to head out and go for a walk to the park. Um, talk to you guys for a little bit. Okay, so, well, let me turn this off. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little B-roll sequence that I tried to do. I'm not sure if I successfully uh, won at that because it's not too much to film out here, but I love coming here because I can just like chill and talk to God. I can already tell my arm's gonna get tired. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about, well, one, this is super crazy. We're, I remember just like talking about hitting uh, 10K subscribers and now we're about to hit 20K, which is nuts to me. Like it literally just seemed like it happened out of nowhere. Like one moment I'm like for a solid like year, six months, I'm like, man, really want to hit 10 Actually for like a full year, I was like, man, really want to hit 10K, really want to hit 10K, really want to hit 10K. Next thing you know, like less than, like in less than like six months, I'm almost at 20K. So I don't know, it's just crazy like how, also like when you just take your mind off of it, like how fast it kind of goes. So good to have goals, but not good to let, like let them like, yeah. So that's just been crazy to me. Um, I got this new gear kind of because of one, just like wanting to work on this filmmaking and want to work on this gift and everything and just making things better. But also, I'm going to New York pretty soon with a buddy of mine that you guys know very well, Jonathan Ogden and the Rivers and Robots team. I don't think Nathan is staying, but I think uh, mainly the Rivers and Robots team. We're going to be going to New York and going to be hanging out there for a little bit. So that's going to be super sweet. I'm actually excited to hang out with those guys because I really want to shoot a lot of content. I also want to shoot a little mini short film out there too. So New York is just a beautiful place, honestly. I think if I had to pick somewhere I don't know if I'd live there just because it's constantly so busy but if there was a place where I was just like man I could visit here all the time it'd probably be New York City um, and if I could film here yeah that would be the first place I would go to because it's just it's so beautiful it's so cinematic to me and everything just looks like a movie there I'll talk to you guys about something that God has been doing in my heart as well it, it's just been amazing to see this and amazing to gonna get this revelation um that's something that i'm i'm still just like asking god like kind of is this possible but i i feel like it is i feel like that's the only way like people and like jesus and and, and people in the bible like they lived with a heart after god because their hearts and god's hearts was actually like connected um and they were one and i'll explain that like in a sec here Okay, so I was just like really praying and just like just like in a place, you know, seeing like everything that's happening in the world and just seeing um, really just how like people that love God actually walk. And I was just like, God, like right now in this moment, like I really want to have a connected heart with yours and a heart that a heart that actually like feels the same things that God feels and feels the way that God feels and thinks the way that God thinks. It talks about in the Bible just like many times about actually um, having the heart of Christ and actually having the mind of Christ. Um, but then it talks about, you know, like your heart and like your mind being 
somewhat the same thing and it talks about that in the bible but just like being one with the father and that's just been my like prayer lately just like god i actually want to have a connected heart with you or seeing like people in the ways that you see them and, and hearing them in the ways that you hear them um i remember like i think god is doing this thing in my heart like i think it's just a prayer that he's already like put in my heart that I've, that's actually just been happening recently too i just remember being on stage um, in California while we were having the worship nights and I was just up for a QA. and a and I just remember like God like actually helping me to value everyone that I was talking to like we were having a QA, and a and you know I in my flesh that I could have just like easily just like talked to people and just gave them like quick answers but I believe the father actually like grabbed hold of my heart and he was actually letting me just value the people like so much to the point where it just felt like I was just one-on-one -on -one talking to them, having a conversation, even though it was a room full of people. It was like, I actually value you because God values you, and I actually love you because God just put a love in me for people and for you. And it was just a cool thing to, like, just have a connected heart, like, just to feel the way that God feels. And I think when we're just so connected with God like that, like, that's where amazing thing happens, too. Like, you know... I want to be like I want to be able to like prophesy over someone and, and tell tell things that are actually true things that no one else knows but God because I'm so like at one with God and so walking in the Father's heart like that there's no there's no separation there's no anything one one album that I've been listening to uh, recently is uh, Children of Inheritance the self-titled album but they're the Australian band that I was telling you guys about and they have, there's this one song on there. Um, the singer's name is um, Ben. I've I've met him once, but he didn't go on tour with us. But he has a song called Saturate. I think it's track 11. And honestly, that track just has been like my prayer. Just like, God, come saturate me. You're all that I need. Like, to actually be saturated in God so much to the point where he is in everything that we do. Like, he's in everything that we, we are. We're so aware of him and so constantly just actually open to hear him um and just like sorry so that's what I'm and just like always being uh with god like always being around god and saturated by his presence so yeah that's that's what i want i just want i want to be saturated i want to be so filled and so connected with the father's heart that like i see people exactly how he sees them and i have the patience that he has and i have just uh the love and I have the righteous anger when the, when the time comes for it and I have um, bring correction when, when time has come and when time comes for it and just like actually living as God uh, living as Jesus did and living how God lives I think that's something that I really want and desire I'm actually super happy that it's spring right now like Spring is such a dope season because you can still wear hoodies and stuff and like it's not too hot, not too cold. Um, and it's just not winter. Yeah, back home now. Um, and this vlog is pretty much over, but I just like, I just think that's so possible for us to actually live like close to God. Like if we are born for relationship with God, if we are born to me in intimacy with God, like I believe like our hearts can actually be one. And I think it's so biblical too, where it's just like Jesus said that I pray that, um, that they would be one as me and you are one as me and the father as jesus the father and the son are one and then we're called to be christ-like so if we're called to be christ-like we're called to be one with god and it says all over that jesus died to make us at one with god like he was our atonement to make us at one at one minute with god and i think that's just so beautiful um so yeah thank you guys for watching this video it's your boy Monsel fish if you did like it like comment subscribe comment something down below that might have touched you or something that you just want to share that's positive but thank you guys again and i'll see you guys in the next video all right peace in the flesh.
God would make me holy and blameless I can't get over the blood and the flesh God would make me holy and blameless I say thank you Father for sending your son I say thank you Father Sending your son. I say thank you, Father, for sending your son. I say thank you, Father, for sending your son. God would